Hi there, welcome to math class. Our title is Multiplication Multiplication of several of several polynomials Applying applying associative property associative property of numbers. property of numbers in algebra we can multiply We can multiply several polynomials, several polynomials. Two by two, two by two until until we reach to we reach. Two, two polynomials, two polynomials. We start from two by two and by the, the time that we reach to two polynomials and then we uh, multiply those two polynomials to each other and we get the result. Now I'm showing this uh, in an example. Example, if there is three polynomials, x plus one times x minus one, this is uh, binomial and at the same time uh, polynomial. Any, uh, just uh, more than uh, one terms is uh, uh, polynomial. Binomial is also a polynomial. X squared plus one. 
now we multiply these two this one with this one the first term with the first and second then the second term with the first and second now x times x x to the power of 2 positive times negative negative x times 1 negative 1 1 x positive times negative negative 1 times the other one x square plus 1 then first before we multiply these two first we I should uh, simplify this one now there is x square there is just we add or subtract the like terms minus negative 1 and positive x and positive x cancel each other negative 1 times x square plus 1 now we multiply these two polynomials first term x to the power of 2 times the x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 4 then positive times positive positive x to the power of 2 times 1 x to the power of 2 negative times positive negative 1 times x to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 negative times positive is negative 1 now this is equal to x to the power of 4 we cancel the x to the power of uh, uh, positive x is to the power of 2 to negative x to the power of 2 there is remaining minus 1 uh, it means that if you multiply these three polynomials or binomials, the result of this is x to the power of 4 minus 1. It can be uh, uh, 4 polynomial, 5 polynomial, but what we do, for, uh, for example, if there is another polynomial beside this, we multiply this one with this one and this one with this one, then 2 by 2, 2 by 2. And at the end, we reach to two polynomial, and then we not multiply these two polynomials, and how we get that result. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your family and friends. And play, please press the notification bell to get notified for more videos. Have a wonderful day and nights. Bye bye.